Welcome back to the Ghost Key. I am Gray, and today we have yet another Finnish First Division match for you. This time we're at home hosting FC Haka. And, nice little fact here, KTP is two points behind FC Haka, which is good. Very, very good. It gives us some more, even more breathing room as if we needed it. <laughs> but anyway, um, this is obviously a big match. Whoever wins, is, well, this is a six-point swing for whoever wins, basically. Um, obviously, we can pretty much put this uh, this competition to bed with a win here and then a draw at minimum versus FC Jazz. That will put us 13 points clear of everyone if we manage to win. That would be 13 points clear, and then there's only, what is it, three matches left to go. be plenty of pointage. But anyway, actually, you know what, come to think of it, yeah, that's 1, 2, 3, uh, 12 points. If we manage, yeah, eh, I think we still we still need the one more point. But anyhow, point is, point is, point is, points. I can't do math, so we're just going to get into this shit. Um, oh, that sucks. I did not, I did not fucking remember that. Anyway, um... And we're gonna put you right there. And anyhow, um, yeah, we are missing two players through suspension: Granholm and Haral. If you remember, they were the only two who got yellow cards last time out. Um, Oyala is um away on international duty. So is Monsalve, as you can see there. So that leaves us with Penanen in goal. Honestly, if we put together a defensive performance like we did last time, that ain't gonna even fucking matter. I mean, quite honestly, they have one shot, and that shot's off target. We're good to fucking go. Um, what I did do, as you can see, I have Onal and Hanan in, in the starting lineup to replace the other two that are sitting down. Um, or did I say Onal? Yeah, and Remesaho gets to start in place of Mika Granholm. So, that's pretty much where we're at. Anyway, I'm trying to stay, like, you know, I'm trying to stay energetic, quite honestly. As I said last time, it's kind of late. I'm kind of starting to drag a little bit here. But I'm just trying to stay all bouncy, you know, full of fun, 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 and all that good shit. Um, you know what? I am going to go ahead and, yeah, as I say, I think I'm going to go ahead and go on and follow follow with the recommended uh, team talk there and just go to town um hopefully like i said we can get the same yeah if we get if we get a performance similar to the last match we're we're golden obviously that's not going to happen judging by the first you know 30 seconds 20 seconds or so of this match since no one's really decisive right now but anyhow i had to take a drink there my little water bottle Handy dandy. Woo! Not enough pace on that one. It's kind of funny how you, you ever notice how like the goalkeeper like glides around back there like he's on skates. Oh, this thing is pretty funny. I mean, it doesn't bother me or anything. I mean, I don't need a game to be, you know, super on point with the graphics. I I get what's kind of being uh, being portrayed. Like I said, I think this one has better graphics than FM15. I'll probably go and give that another crack here in a couple weeks or so. Oh my, Hananen. Oh my, oh my, that was wonderful. That was a hell of a turn and cross. Holy shit. Really should have scored there. That's that's a that's a pretty good chance in my book. Tough one to convert, but still pretty good. Hopefully, yeah, I'm kind of excited the way Ramasaha was played in here. I, mean, I, think, I think he might... We might be retaining his services here at the end of the season, just because if we can't, if we can't, um, you know, upgrade any other, you know, places on the pitch, someone who will probably come pretty cheap. Oh, that scared me. I thought that was a fucking penalty for a second. I was about to fucking go ape shit. But, but you know, he has. He's been. He's looked pretty lively down there. He's looked to be. I mean, he's not. 
He's not a defender like Granholm. Oh my god, oh no. You're alone. And yeah, he has pace let him down there. I'm really happy, like like I'm quite honestly, I'd be I'd be really happy with just a draw today. I mean I think, you know, even a boar zero zero draw wouldn't would would make me happy. I'm okay with that. Um I mean I think we got obviously, you know, better you know, greener fields to munch on here in the coming matches. I mean, we can still blow this whole thing, but quite honestly, I don't... I don't see that happening. I mean, I've had a couple close calls in my in my time. I mean, a few, but, you know, I mean, mostly ones where we had, like, this kind of sort of thing. We've had, like, a six-point lead. Oh, my. Oh, my. All the real estate. Please. Oh, Jesus. Ugh. I don't like when they try and hold play up like that. You know, even if that's your weaker foot there, just put it on goal. I mean, come on now. Just put it on goal. Oh, man. Like I said, Ramasaho. Oh, Ramasaho. Jesus. I, like I said, I'm pretty, I'm pretty excited with this sprightly... Sprightly play over there. He seems a little bit better than Gronholm. Gronholm was a little more, a little more hesitant. Seemingly, I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, just this from the times, the things that I remember when I see him play. And then there's stuff like that. My God, that's like the second one today. Mm, that is a very good chance that goes begging right there. Mm, I think we're gonna a little bit regret that. Yeah, that's oof. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Thank you, Hogblum. There we go. God damn, so often does that not work out for the uh, attacking team. I mean, look at all the fucking defenders there. I don't know how we managed to score there, but oof. Oof. Oh. Well, at least we got a goal somehow. That, that helps us, that helps us out a little bit there. As long as we can, you know, keep them off the, off the board here. Oh my! Looks like the um. Looks like the ref isn't too quick to hand out cards here, though. As long as we can defend corners, which, by the way, defending set pieces was what we worked on in practice this week. That was our that was our match prep for this week was defending set pieces because they're pretty good in the air, if you remember. And there you go, Penman. See that sounds too like, I, I think I've, uh, I don't, I don't remember if I've given this my entire theory. I think I started to, but I don't think I've really given my entire theory. Actually, before I get into that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk, I'm gonna tell you like the big reason why I'm doing this, this um, oh my, oh my, why, I'm, why I'm doing this LP. It's mostly for my, my own benefit. I mean, I, I like football a lot. I have problems for whatever re reason expressing myself when it comes to that expressing my thoughts coherently and especially when I record this right now honestly I get kind of I get really nervous and have a hard time kind of expressing my thoughts completely and clearly and communicating that very directly so that's really one of the reasons why I'm doing this LP is for, you know so that I can practice that so that I can get better at that so that I can you know just do well at expressing my thoughts and communicating you know my my philosophy and whatnot on football clearly and effectively um but uh i don't think back to the subject that kind of brought that up i don't think i've gone into depth about this i i think i've come i've come to a conclusion oh say you have all the oh my i don't know how i got that one away and i don't know how stencil fucked that up but when it comes to um when it comes to the the goalkeepers in this game, I I believe I've expressed that there aren't really that many um, attribute wise that are really world class, and I think I've kind of figured out why. I think the theory and the reasoning why there aren't um, a lot of a lot more, or the game doesn't really spawn a lot of really world class goalkeepers, is because I think the um, the idea is that the uh, defense is is what makes the keeper really good i mean i think you can have really you know good goalkeepers but i think they had to have a lower ceiling than everyone else and i think that um, the game is meant to kind of build around you know 
a, a solid defense and how your defenders, you know, will all contribute to, you know, a good goal, uh, you know, a good goalkeeping performance and defending appropriately. So I think, I think that their reasoning behind not making all that many really, you know, world-class uh, goalkeepers in comparison to outfield players is that they're really not needed. That the defenders are going to do enough that um, the goalkeeper won't really be needed. I mean, like look at this performance right now and the and the last one. Oof, oh, say well done. We had stats. Oof, oof. We we're moving the ball around pretty well. Now. Oh, of course. Now that I say that, I mean you look at through the first 30 minutes, FC Haka has nothing, nothing to show for it. In the last game, only had one shot, and that was off target. You know, like I said, I think that's why they don't have as many, you know, world class. I, I guess what I'm saying is, like, if you were to open up, oh no, oh no, oof, it says they missed that. I think if you were to open up like the like a real time editor or something like that, you look at all their stats. It's it's on a D20 system. I've said this before. So the max a player can be is 200. The best goalkeeper I've seen is 180, and that's kind of, I mean, like I said, that the game spawns like 175 goalkeepers at best. Like it just doesn't spawn, you know, a lot of players that are, you know, that are even you know, ooh, wonderful. Please, oh please, thank you, thank you. I was gonna say, oh my God, another golden, golden, brilliant opportunity we created for ourselves there. Like I said, I think I think kind of like a like I said, I think the ceiling for goalkeepers is kind of like that 170 to 180 range. I mean, that's pretty much the best that you're gonna find. You know, even for teams like Barcelona or Real Madrid, like I think the best one in the game is um is uh oh god, what's the German guy? I I know his name, not Ter Stegen, but the other one. Oh my god, why can't I remember his name? The one who plays for Barca, you know who I'm. Barca, not Barca, Bayern Munich. You know who I'm talking about. That guy, World Cup winner. That guy, he's really the best in the game. He comes out as a 180. You know, when you look at the raw stats. So I mean, it's just, it's, it. Like I said, I, I think just the game is kind of built that way, which is weird, and it kind of weirds me out because naturally you want to go and find those better players, and when you look at your your goalkeeper and you're like oh my goalkeeper sucks you know compare comparatively to all your other outfield players you know if you use a real-time editor but you know like i said i mean it's it is what it is and it's not really anything once you understand the system and the way that they kind of designed it it's you know everything's fine you know what i mean like they, they do a pretty good job i think of balancing the game there are some areas where you know that the game kind of um it's a little out of balance mostly in the amount of regens that are attacking midfielders holy fuck this game regens a ton a ton of attacking midfielders i went like three years without being able to sign anyone i should say i went like three years without having a single uh like a like a single you know quality quality player that was not oh my god Morato no wonderful but it's offside I was gonna say holy shit that was not offside but anyhow I mean like let's say I think I went like three seasons without being able to sign a defender or anything and I tried to sign you know since I run a youth system I try to sign um I try to sign like at least one player at every level one midfielder one attacker one defender um, depending on, you know, obviously where my weaknesses are, what areas I'm a little thin at, um, I'm very happy with the way things have gone. And of course, they're like, mm -hmm, you know, but, uh, you know, like I said, it's, it's just one of those things where like it, it really, uh, it, it's really frustrating, especially when you need, like I really needed a central defender at that time too. I really needed another world-class central center defender, and I just could not find one. I was like, for the love of God, will somebody just spawn something that's worth my time? Jesus fucking Christ. 
Good God. Well, there went our two nothing win. Completely, completely gone right there. They got that goal way too fucking early. And the team talk wasn't good enough. And here we are. That is one thing that FM15 gives you is they give you the ability to kind of do a general team talk from the sideline. Which it's really just a get your ass in gear kind of talk. Obviously. But like I said, I don't I haven't really I tried messing around with that, but I mean I didn't didn't really seem to have no effect. But that was also when I was a, you know, a whole lot of ten games into my management career with that career and um ooh. and uh didn't really have a whole lot of um you know reputation myself. Which goes a long way. I mean eventually that's something too. You'll see us you'll see us have a lot more uh, a lot more sway in the locker room and shit like that. Obviously it helps out a lot with um signing and stuff. Which that's another thing too, um this game, uh, probably talk about this more in the middle of the season, or in between seasons, but this this game, now that they've transitioned into having a director of football, see, I knew there was going to be something like that, yeah, now now the wheel's going to start flying off the bus here. <laughs> that was, I'll say, all right, I'm going to take him off because I'm not really comfortable with the way things are going right now, and a player with a card. In this sort of match where we are already leading on the foul chart, I mean, in the number of foul, foul count, I should say, not chart, I don't know what I'm fucking saying. But, um, we're gonna go ahead and take him off there. But, um, now that they have a director of football, this game, like, you used to be able to enough 12 go and, like, when regens basically, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, hatched. <laughs> Oh, and basically regens hatched, you know, or, or, you know, I don't, I don't know what other term for it. When they, when they were recruited or whatever, um, they would, uh, you could actually go in there and potentially sign them before they signed with whatever parent club they were generated on. I kind of started making a habit of that there. I was able to, you know, key on on what dates regens, um, appeared and then I would just go and hunt them down and go after ones you know right in that first week before they sign a you know an official contract with their club especially if they're really good but they don't let you do that now like the players won't even talk to you like won't even talk to you if they're youth players anymore you used to be able to go in and sign them for a, you know for like a just a base like a flat fee you'd be able to go in there and sign them before you know while they're on a youth contract and all that shit now they don't let you do that, basically. Players won't even talk to you. It doesn't matter how good you are. Once again, I have a world-class club with my main career, with my Galway career, and, you know, I'm a world-class manager, and they won't even talk to me. God damn it. I do not have... Do not have... Yeah. I'm a little, a little thin in that area today, and that's my... That's enough. Oh, wait. Oh, crisis averted. It's not ideal. But, uh, Kirke Aho will get some playing time for once. And in the meantime, Hananen will drop back into that uh, box of box midfielder, or box of box midfielder, that other defensive midfielder slot right there. And. and Nifty little stuff. Nifty. That, not so much. There's lots of space in that midfield right there. You know, their, their, their striker is pretty isolated. It's kind of been so all game. And then we make a fucking... I don't even know. Oh, no. God, while watching, pick that up. And then... Don't frighten me. Need more pace back there, but that's actually kind of. I mean, I I try to feel the pacey team. I prefer a pacey team. Ooh, nice. Just simple stuff like that. Moving into space. Get it out there. I don't get a corner out of it. That's not so bad. 
But um, like I said, I think I'll try and put a few more, like, you know, give us a little bit more of an aerial threat this time around. Oh, Hogdome, you deserve that one. Jesus. All right, we're hanging on here. I mean, it's getting close. I would absolutely love to escape here with the three points, really six points, like I said. I mean, oh, jeez. Oof. Oh, Jesus. Maybe they maybe they expended all their energy there with that one goal, and they've been. Uh, we've had a pretty good chunk of possession in this game. I mean, this this match has been pretty well dominated by us on the ball. I mean, look at our passes completed. I mean, 80% of those to 69. I mean, we've been pretty much on. Oh, I thought that was gonna be picked up. Let's see. Let's see how see how much he's getting. He's getting really isolated up there. Their lone striker. I mean, he's Mascara. He's got three guys basically to to try and beat by himself. I mean, he can't really isolate himself on another defender. He's pretty much got, you know. Of course, since we don't have much pace back there, none of those. Whoa. None of those defenders can really come over and cover. And that's one of the reasons why I like having some space back there. Although, of course, once you get to, you know, um. You know, once again, Champions League quality football. All those strikers up there are pretty fast. It's you know you got to be in a good position to start as a defender to be able to run down the ball and cover. You know you're not just going to be able to outrun people constantly. But that's one of the reasons, like I said, why I like prefer to have like a a faster team, a quicker team, just to kind of you know buzz around the pitch a little bit more and exploit those spaces quicker. But um, like I said, I mean. I'll I'll uh, I'll definitely go and field a little bit more. Try to field a little bit more of an aerial attacking team. Number one for a little, a little difference, and that's as I said. There we go. Nice. Well, we got the six-point swing right there. That's that's fantastic. That's absolutely fantastic. Hmm. I'm gonna be a dick because I can. Hagbum was good today. I was pretty I was pretty happy with Hagbum. He did a good job of cutting off passes. And like I said, Mascara was absolutely isolated the entire game up there. I mean, he had to deal with him the whole match. So now we've got an 11-point spread on KTP. However, when it comes to us playing them, if we, if we get the right result against FC Jazz, you know, we'll, we'll be all right. We'll be all right. But anyhow, we have the man advantage during that whole game too. It's kind of disappointing, honestly. Now, now that I kind of think about it, I was pretty happy with that. But now, now, like I said, now that I think about it, I'm kind of, um, kind of disappointed. But then again, when you when you look at everything, the way things went, you know, I don't even know why I can started simming and then saved here. But anyhow, I'll finish my thought and then I'll let you go. Um, well, all things considered, you know, that, that's, aside from that one goal, that kind of lucky goal, I think we did a pretty good job of, once again, you know, pretty much continuing the same defensive effort. You know, they still only had two shots, one of which on goal, and that obviously was the header that they scored on. So, I mean, it, like I said, it's, I don't like that scoreline. That scoreline's a bit deceiving as to how, how the game went, especially when you look at our amount of possession and shit like that. So... Yeah, like I said, I mean, still well done by our defense, and specifically Hagblum for shutting down Mascara there, and just you know, really, you know, tightening shit down. But anyhow, if you made it this far on YouTube, you know what to do. Blah 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 blah. Thanks a lot for watching, and hopefully next time we might be able to wrap up the league.